This lesson shows you how to calculate the mean absolute deviation of a data set. In a previous lesson, you used the range or the interquartile range to describe the spread of a data set. You can also use the mean absolute deviation or MAD. The mean absolute deviation of a data set is the average distance between each data value and the mean. To find the MAD of a data set, the first step is to calculate the mean, which for this data set is 64. The next step is to find the absolute value of the difference of each data value and the mean. The absolute value means no negative numbers. You just want the difference between the two numbers. So the absolute value of 58 minus 64 is 64 minus 58, which is 6. So instead of 58 minus 64, it's 64 minus 58. Then calculate the rest of the differences. Notice when the subtraction is reversed to get the absolute value. The final step is to calculate the average or mean of the differences. which is 12.5. This means that the average distance of each value is 12 and a half miles per hour from the mean of 64. Here's a graph of the data. Here's the mean. And here's the deviation. 12 and a half miles per hour each side of the mean. Notice that half of the data values fall within this area. A large value for MAD means there's a wide spread of the data around the mean. A small value for MAD means there's a narrower spread of the data around the mean. This lesson showed you how to calculate the mean absolute deviation of a data set. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.